Hi, I'm Stefan Dubois from the Department of Spanish and Portuguese. I'm going to talk about three quick ways you can start incorporating technology into your classes, regardless of what subject you teach. Sometimes the best way technology can benefit your course is actually when you use it outside the classroom. Pinterest is an amazing resource for finding activities. This board called Spanish Plans is one of my favorites for my own subject. A couple examples from the board are a beginner level activity which practices body part vocabulary by drawing monsters, a guide on how to use Instagram for assignments, and even a compilation of Spanish memes, which adds great flavor to PowerPoints. You can find interesting activities for any subject though. Just for fun, I looked up fun calculus lesson plans, and in about five minutes, I found a scavenger hunt and even a murder mystery. Spend enough time rooting around on Pinterest, and I guarantee you'll find a lesson you'll be excited to try out. If you're one of those teachers who has a hard time keeping track of attendance, then give Teacher's Aid a shot. It's fairly basic in functionality, but it's a convenient way to take role by marking students as present, absent, or late. Personally, I use the late function for when students forget to turn in their daily participation homework. Then at the end of the quarter, you have a handy list of how many absences each student had, as well as the exact days they were missing. There's also a pretty sophisticated grade tracker, and you can email the end of quarter spreadsheets to your computer in case you want to integrate it with your gradebook or gaucho space. Overall, it's a simple tool, but I find it really takes the headache out of attendance taking. To finish up, let's look at an actual activity which incorporates technology. Whenever I have to do in-class writing assignments, I really like to pair students up and have them work together in Google Docs. For example, for this Spanish assignment, I had students pick out images online, paste them in Google Docs, and then comment on each of the pictures the other groups had selected. The real neat thing here is that you as an instructor can see what they're writing in real time. So you can use the highlight function to mark errors or leave comments in the margins. After class is over, the Google Docs is still there, so you can have students complete a homework assignment based on their in-class responses, or even keep a read-only copy to show off during job interviews. This sort of activity can be used in any classroom which has group work, and it's a super simple way to dip your toes into classroom tech tools. Incorporating technology into the classroom can be intimidating, but by starting with one of these three simple tools, it gets easier and easier. Just give it a shot. You'll be a pro in no time.